Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I want to start off this video by wishing you all a happy new year. So this is going to be my first video of 2019. So I thought what better way to start off the new year than with a recipe video. So today I'm going to show you my vegan tomato sauce recipe. So this is a recipe that I always get lots of questions about, how I make it, how I make it taste good. Because, yeah, some people can't really figure it out. So I thought I would show you guys today how I make this recipe. I've been making it for years and it's really easy and super tasty. So yeah, let's just get on to the video. So what you will need for this recipe are two medium-sized onions, one clove of garlic, and you will need some white mushrooms. So I use about four to five medium-sized mushrooms. You will also need some tomato puree. So I use this one, which just has some tomato and citrus acid in it, and this is 140 grams. Need a base for your tomato sauce, so I use this sift tomato sauce, which is basically just some sift tomatoes. So this is 500 grams. You need some vegan minced meat, so I use this one that I got from my local supermarket, but you can use any brand you like. So this is 175 grams need some herbs to make the sauce taste good so I always use some salt some pepper some rosemary parsley and some spicy paprika and then lastly of course we will need some pasta to eat our sauce with so I just use this whole wheat spaghetti but you can use any kind that you like so this recipe makes enough sauce for two to three people depending on how much sauce you use so I usually have one portion left that I put in a container in the fridge or freezer to eat later. Start by adding a little water to the pan and add the onion to that. Just cook this until the onions are a bit soft. Onions have cooked for a few minutes, just add your mushrooms. And cook for another few minutes. mushrooms have softened a bit we're going to add the garlic the vegan minced meat and the tomato puree we're going to add the herbs and let the whole thing cook for about two minutes Lastly, we're going to add the sift tomato sauce and let everything cook for about 5 minutes. 